Good morning everybody and welcome back to Thumb FPV. Now today we're going to go over some of the print settings on the Snapmaker 2.0. These are the settings that cannot be altered. If you have one of these you'll know what I'm talking about because you have your settings for your fine, normal, and fast print quality. Then you have your A350 settings. Today we're just going to talk about the regular settings that do not have the A350 annotation with them and see exactly what the prints look like. So here we have our prints that we're going to check out today and this is from the settings that I said these are just the normal fast print and high quality. So from the top we have our fast print, normal, high quality and I'm going to check out each of these pieces for you today. So for the first set this is the fast print, this is the normal, this is the high quality, here are the tops on them. Uh, you can see the difference in the fill on them. Pretty jagged, medium, and then smooth as far as the layers go. Uh, the outside the outside is about the same consistency. Um, there's not really any under extruding or gaps for the most part. The bottoms are nice and smooth they're not the greatest you can see a decent amount of the first layer in the extruding on there but that's the bottom anyway second set pretty much the same thing kind of coarse medium and then fine as far as the layers go inside the holes they're still about the same pretty smooth in the first one for the fast print, you can kind of see through a little bit around the outside of where the bolt holes is. The first layer didn't lay down the, the cleanest, but it's super nice inside the last one. This is our third set. These are the domey pieces, I like to call them. Um, again, super, super rough, medium, and then fine as far as, far as the layer quality goes you can see it right away uh, the insides are nice smooth on all three of them there's not really any mist layers or under extruding or anything the bottoms are pretty uniform as well the bottoms are pretty nice and smooth on them. There's not too much missing on any of them. So an overall time frame on these, um, we're gonna start from here and then work our way down. Um, estimated time on this was 21 minutes. Actual time was 27 minutes and 29 seconds. Uh, estimated time for this piece here was 41 minutes. It was 46 minutes and five seconds. Estimated time here was an hour and 47 minutes. Actual time was one hour and 48 minutes. Estimated time here was 15 minutes. Actual time was 22 minutes and 20 seconds. Estimated time for this piece was 30 minutes. Actual time was 34 minutes and 23 seconds. Estimated time for this piece was one hour and 19 minutes. Actual time, one hour and 22 minutes. Estimated time for this piece was 31 minutes. Actual time was 38 minutes and 10 seconds. Estimated time for this piece was one hour and five minutes. Actual time was one hour and eight minutes. Estimated time for this piece was two hours and 30 minutes and the actual time was two hours and 47 minutes. So that is how the timestamps go for that. Now, these are just drone skid plates. They're not anything fantastic, but if you're wanting to do something as far as like a very detailed model, I would definitely go with the fine print as opposed to the fast print. Also, it depends on who it's for. If you just want to make something for your kid and you want to crank it out, you could do this. If you have something that you want to put on a shelf or show off on YouTube, I would definitely go this route. Um, Thank you for watching this. This is Thumb FPV. I'll have another video up soon.